This class is designed to help the student who are preparing for SEE examination. And today, I want to present this chapter, new chapter of physics that is pressure. I divided the pressure into 15 points. I mean to say, I mapped the whole chapter into these 15 points. And I'll deal about each of the points, one after another. Let's start with first point. First point is what? Pressure. I'll talk about definition, equation, unit, one Pascal pressure, and numerical problem related to pressure at the end. Let's start with definition. What is pressure? Force acting perpendicular to a unit area of a surface is called pressure. This, this way we can write the definition of pressure. And after definition, we have to go through equation. If you are told to write the equation of pressure, you can write pressure P is equal to force symbolized by F upon area symbolized by A. This is the equation of pressure. Now, what is the unit of pressure? You can go through this and you can find yourself the unit of pressure. Force is if measured in Newton. According to SI system, we measure force in Newton. And area is measured in meter square. It means unit of pressure is Newton per meter square. But unit of pressure is taken as Pascal. This Newton per meter square is taken as Pascal in the name of the scientist Pascal. That's why if you are told to write the unit of pressure, then you have to write SI unit of pressure is Pascal. Now, after the unit, you have to uh, say about 1 Pascal also sometimes. What do you mean by 1 Pascal pressure? Can come in the examination. What is 1 Pascal pressure? You can say this way. When 1 Newton force is acting on 1 meter square area, then the pressure is said to be 1 Pascal. We can say that the force... One newton, one newton force if x on one meter square surface area then the pressure is called one pascal this way one pascal equal to mathematically also you can write one newton by one meter square now after this this point is finished now we'll talk about the numerical problem at the end of the class now let's say about let's talk about this pascal's law what is pascal's law Pressure exerted at any point in a confined liquid transmits equally and perpendicular to all the directions. This is Pascal's law. We'll talk about Pascal's law first. First, we have to uh, we have to present law, and then what other points are related with Pascal's law? We have to verify this Pascal's law, and we have to go through the equipments which are based on Pascal's law. I told you just now what is law. Now, how can you verify Pascal's law? If this type of question comes in examination, or you can say the question may be uh, verify Pascal's law experimentally. Then you have to draw this diagram. And after this diagram, we can say this way. Let a spherical vessel made up of glass has got four openings of equal diameter and each of the opening is fitted with piston and this vessel is filled with a liquid, say water. When a force is applied on one of the pistons, see, on A, if force is applied on one of the pistons, let's say A, then what is found? All other pistons moves away from their original position. And if we measure the distance moved by this piston, they are found to be equal. What it mean? It proves that pressure exerted at any point in a confined liquid transmits equally and undiminished, equally and undiminished, and perpendicular to all the direction. This way, Pascal's law is experimentally verified. Now, we'll talk about the devices which are based on Pascal's law. If you are told to write some devices which are based on Pascal's law, you can say number one, hydraulic press, number two, hydraulic brake, number three, hydraulic jack. This is also called hydraulic garage lift or hydraulic lift. Third one, hydraulic press, hydraulic brake, hydraulic lift. What is hydraulic press? 
It is a device based on Pascal's law. If you are told to define hydraulic press or introduce hydraulic press, it, this is a device based on Pascal's law which is used to magnify the force. This is the definition. Now we'll talk about its construction also, its working also. I want to show this uh, construction of this hydraulic press. Okay, let's talk about the construction of hydraulic press. If you are told to uh, draw a diagram to show hydraulic press, you can draw this diagram with these levelings. And if you are told to write the construction about the hydraulic press, you can say this way. In hydraulic press, a small vessel is connected to a big vessel by means of a narrow tube. And each of the vessel is fitted with piston. One piston is small, another is big. And the vessel is filled with a liquid. This is about the construction of hydraulic press. Now, if you are told to write the working of hydraulic press, you can say this way. When a force is applied on a small piston, then a small piston exert pressure on the liquid. And since the liquid is confined, that's why, according to Pascal's law, the same pressure transmits to big piston. And the area of big piston is very huge. The area of big piston is comparatively very huge than a small piston. That's why force magnifies to very huge value. Both the sides we have equal pressure, but force magnifies to very huge value. This way it works. Sometimes uses of hydraulic press can be asked in examination. There are two major uses you can write in examination. Number one, it is used to raise heavy loads, like in ship it is used to raise heavy load. And number two, it is used in making cotton bundle. This way you can write uses of hydraulic press. Now we are talking about this equation which we get from hydraulic press. Look at this. If a force is applied on a small piston that can be represented by F1 and area of a small piston is let's say A1 then uh, if area of big piston is let's say A2 and the force which will produce on big piston is if represented by F2 then according to Pascal's law if you are told to uh, derive the equation then you can make this diagram and you can say that let F1 and A1 are the uh, force and area uh, area of a small piston and F2 and A2 are the force and area of big piston then according to Pascal's law pressure on small piston P1 is equal to pressure on big piston P2. Now P1 in place of P1 you can write F1 by A1 because pressure equal to force by area and in place of P2 you can write F2 by A2 pressure equal to force by area. This way we get this equation and if you are told to write equation then you can write in words. In place of F1 you can say that uh, you can write that area of a small piston, uh, sorry, force on a small piston and in place of A1, area of a small piston, in place of uh, F2, force on big piston and in place of A2, force on uh, area on big piston, area of big piston. Or you can say, uh, force on small piston upon area of a small piston is equal to force on big piston upon uh, area of big piston. This equation can be used to solve numerical problem. Now next thing, if you are told to prove that hydraulic press magnifies the force, then you can prove this way. You have to make this diagram and you can say that let force F1 is 1 Newton and area of a small piston is 1 meter square and area of big piston is let's say 50 meter square then for f2 can be calculated and according to pascal's law you can write according to pascal's law according to pascal's law f1 by a1 is equal to f2 by a2 and you can write the value f1 1 newton a1 1 meter square and f2 we are going to calculate and a2 is 50 meter square then Therefore, F2 becomes what? Or, or say, let's say, or equal to 1 Newton into 50 meter square upon 1 meter square, meter square, meter square cancel. Therefore, F2 equal to 50 Newton. This way, uh, 
1 newton force is magnified to 50 newton force thus a hydraulic press magnifies the force you can put this way now let's talk about the another another device which is, which is made by using this hydraulic press another device is hydraulic brake hydraulic brake is somehow left from your syllabus but this is very important you have to understand this whether it comes in examination or not but what is hydraulic brake you must know and how it works and how it is constructed what is its use i'm going to present this also okay what is hydraulic brake this is a device based on pascal's law which magnifies the force and is used to stop or slow down a moving way this is the definition of hydraulic brake. Now, how it is constructed and how it works, I want to show it with the help of a diagram. This is a simple representation of hydraulic brake. It consists of a narrow tube connected to a big vessel. Narrow tube is fitted with a small piston and big vessel has two openings. Both the openings are fitted with big piston and it is filled with brake oil and big piston is fitted with brake shoe on both the sides and brake shoe are placed very close to the wheel. Now, after this much understanding how it works, whenever we have to stop a moving vehicle or slow down the moving vehicle, we'll apply force on this small piston or brake pedal, this pedal. And according to Pascal's law, it exerts pressure and this is a confined liquid. That's why the same pressure transmits to big vessel. But area of this big vessel which has uh, two pistons is very used than that of the small piston that's why force magnifies to very huge value and the brake shoe is pushed forward and it uh, comes in contact with the wheel and rotating wheel is stopped or it will be slowed down this way it works it is used to stop the moving vehicle or to slow down the moving vehicle okay this was second uh, device i told now I want to say third device also. What is it? Hydraulic jack or it is also called hydraulic lift. Someone may be written hydraulic garage lift. What is it? How do you define hydraulic garage lift? It is a device based on Pascal's law which magnifies the force and is used to lift the vehicles in hydraulic garages. Now after this, what is this diagram? I mean to say how to draw this diagram what is this working and how it is constructed etc i want to show with the diagram this is a diagram simplified diagram of hydraulic jack or how you can say hydraulic lift it consists of three parts reservoir small vessel big vessel and each of the vessel is fitted with piston and this is a small piston which is fitted with the lever and this is big piston big vessel which is fitted with the big piston and it is developed to a wide platform these three parts are separated by means of valve. This is V1 valve which lies between small piston and big piston. And this is V2 valve which lies between the reservoir and the small, uh, small uh, vessel. Now this big piston, a uh, big vessel and reservoir is connected by means of narrow tube which has got one stopper also. Okay, now how it works with this. Whenever we have to raise any heavy vehicle, like car or any other vehicle, it is placed uh, on this platform, white platform uh, of big piston, and we'll apply force on the lever. When lever is pushed down, it exerts pressure on the liquid. And this pressure transmits to both the side, to this ball B2 also, B1 also, but balls are designed in such a way that they open in one of the side, that's why this valve cannot open towards this side. That's why it remains closed. But this pressure opens valve V1 and pressure transmits to big piston. Since area of big piston is very used than that of the small piston, that's why the force magnifies to very huge value according to Pascal's law. And it rises up, big piston rises up and that raises the vehicle also. This way we raise the vehicle. And when our work finishes on the vehicle, then we have to bring it down also. So we'll open this stopper. When op my stopper is open, then the liquid flows from big vessel to the reservoir because liquids are sick of its level. It 
arrange its level itself. That's why level of liquid is high in big vessel and less in reservoir and this is small vessel. That's why liquid flows from this narrow tube to reservoir and it moves to this small uh, vessel also opening this ball B2. Thus it works. Now this is about the working of hydraulic jack. This use of hydraulic jack is very simple. It is used in hydraulic garages to lift the vehicle for different purposes. Uh, this way, I told you about these five points. What are they? Pressure. I told you about pressure and everything related to Pascal's law and the devices. What are they? Hydraulic press, hydraulic brake, hydraulic garage lift. Now next point, we'll talk about next point in another class.